Right then, animation. Okay, so in this series of videos, uh, what we're going to do next is animate um, some planets moving around the sun. And then when we get good at it, we'll, we'll, we'll animate a camera as well, because uh, that'll look cool. Okay, so let's jump straight in and get started. So the first thing we need to do, because it's just good practice, is um, we'll set the project. You might have been working on another project, so let's make sure that you set the project first so that all your textures are going to work. So this is my project here, room. So I'll select that and then click on set. Bosh, nice and easy. And then I need to open the scene. Room, there you go. If for any reason you haven't got the room project, uh, you can download that, just follow the link provided. Um, and it's got everything that you see here. So you can download this file as I'm using it. That's not a problem. Okay, so what we need to do first is get set up to do some animating. So, this little chap down here, he's called the timeline. There he is, and at the moment he's showing 24 frames, which unless you've changed it already, is what you should see by default the first time you use Maya. Um, and we're going to leave it at 24, because that is still the standard frame rate for films, um, although you can go higher than that if you choose. And at the moment, you can see in the timeline, it's just showing us the first 24 frames. And in total, the full length of the timeline at the moment is 48 frames, which is 2 seconds. So the first thing we're going to do, so we get enough animation out of this, is we're going to change this to 100 frames. So it'll be just over 4 seconds. So to do that, you're just going to click in this box here, select that, and then change it to 100. And then, this all changes. You can see now I've got 100 frames. We can see them all. Um, and um, there are 100 there. If you want to zoom in on your timeline so you can be more precise, you can do that as well. So you just change the slider. But for what I want to do, I want to be able to see all 100. The next thing we're going to do is go into the animation preferences, um, which is this little chap down here. It looks like a little red running man. So I'm going to click on that, and we're going to change this to playback speed. At the moment, what it will try and do when we animate is it will play every frame in order as quickly as it can, um, which generally is too fast if you've got a decent computer. Um, we want to make sure that it only plays at the speed that we want it to, so we're going to tell it to play at real time, 24 frames per second. Um, so, there we go, that's now changed to real time. And then you just need to save that. And then um, we'll look at setting some keyframes in the next video.